So, what are the most irritating things people have said to you as a woman in science? Actually, my high school teachers say that physics is for men. Oh, you got this position because you're a woman. That's the most irritating thing I can think of. Oh, we were surprised you have a technical background. I never thought that a lady dressed like this will have that much knowledge and be that serious and present that good material. She said to me, Amanda, you need to wear more feminine. This is too dull for you. <laughs> that was kind of ridiculous. And because I was in the field, I was working. Or people have advised me to be careful about not dressing too feminine or else I might be mistaken for, uh, for not being a professional. But we, we're here to prove that it's not true. <laughs> I'm a scientist by my own right and I don't want to hear that I got the post only because I was here. <laughs> What's it like being the only woman in the room? I would say I like it because I feel like I'm breaking the boundaries. Have you had such uh, situations at any time? All the time. Oh. You go into a room, you have a great idea, you could say it, sometimes someone else will say it with a, a lot of like arm movement or something that's impressive and then everyone's like, so-and-so's idea is a great idea and you just said it, you know? <laughs> what small steps can we take as a society to make it easier for women to be scientists? When we raise a family, and, and good kids, you're raising them for society because they impact the whole society. So I think society has to support that. I actually think that each one of us can make the difference and make their support the girls and women around them. And at the same time, not being put on the quote unquote mommy track where you're, you're not gonna move forward because perception within the place you work is that you know, you're, not, uh, you're not doing your job. Have you faced difficulty in your career because of your gender? I don't think so. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very Maybe good. so far. Yeah. Maybe so far I've been lucky. Probably not. At least I have not noticed. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> For me, I, I, I sincerely had a lot of difficulties. As, as I said before, I don't really think of these things. If you look at CEOs of Fortune 500 companies, how many women are there? There's a reason for that. And we know women manage well, and we, there's a lot of studies that show that they do as good or even better uh, than some, of the, some men, but we still see that differentiation. And I think it's because of our perception as a society. We still have that perception. And I know that in many countries it's not so easy and people need to work hard to aim to uh, achieve their goals. I have to work extra to prove yeah. that I'm, I'm good enough. Do women have to choose between family and career? I hope not. I hope that that's not the case anymore. When I was a very young scientist and I had a family, I had uh, children, so at that time I thought that it was difficult to manage. No, I didn't think so. Because Marie Curie <laughs> did the family work and research work and she won the Nobel Prize twice. But with proper support from the system and the family, I think it's, it's possible and I have done it. I think we also work in a, an organization that absolutely. has policies the in place organization, absolutely. that support, support yeah. the family and support the decision to have a family. This question, um, it is unfairly asked to women a lot and it should be asked. To be fair, if really needs to be asked, then it should be asked to women and men equally. What did people say when you told them you wanted to be a nuclear scientist? I think uh, I have so good self-confidence that nobody had anything to say to it. If I want to do something, I will do it, and uh, I don't care what other people say. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of surprise for from my, from my friends and family. Um, I think a lot of people sort of ex think of it as, as a man's work. Mm. In my case, there was no such thing. They were all in awe. Oh wow, you're going to be a nuclear scientist? <laughs> in my case, it was more or less the same. Uh, I was, but I have to say, it, this comes with the fact that I've been lucky and I've been always supported by uh, my family and my environment. Uh, well, my father said, the world is your oyster. 
<laughs> so I was allowed to do anything, I could be anything, every, anywhere I wanted, you know. What did you want to be when you were a child? I remember thinking of astro astronaut or astronomer or um, something that had to do with discovering and finding out things. So. Okay, since I was six years old, I wanted to be a physician. At some point, I wanted to be a secret agent. So what would you say to a young girl who wants to work in nuclear science? Wow. I will say, <laughs> please go for it. Please go for it. It's wonderful. 